Once you have sent the link to your students so that they can click in it and join, once they click on that link by putting it into their browser, they will see the welcome message. It will say welcome to the name of the session or the class that you've chosen. What is your name? We recommend that you ask students to put their full name in here or another identifying feature. You will see, then see the names of these students as part of your class. Please be assured that this is fully GDPR compliant and only you will see the names of your students. The very first time that your student joins the class, we recommend that you ask them to store this profile token. They can copy it here. We recommend that you ask them to copy it and then email it to themselves, perhaps with the title Sanaco, so that they can search for it later. This means that they can use this same token either at home or at school and it will take them to their particular user area in their class with any of the exercises that you will have set them. This replaces what might be a username and password that is sometimes used in other websites. It's possibly a good idea to demonstrate what you want students to do the first time that you do this to make sure that they all do this correctly. The students should then press continue they will be asked whether or not they can use the microphones and obviously they should allow this because it's important that microphones are used for the pronunciation and speaking activities. If a separate microphone is plugged in, there will be an option to select the correct microphone and to test it. We can see that this one is working because the bars are moving and then we click OK. And this is how the student joins the lesson and can see activities that are available to them.